The HCS Finals at Atlanta Dreamhack in 2018 will be the final Halo 5 esports event for the game. And why some key Halo players are jumping ship over to the Call of Duty side of things for Black Ops 4. What does this mean moving forward for the Halo competitive community and the ever growing side of competitive Halo coming back to the forefront of gaming? How this all ties in to Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole video and you get to know all the little details here. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update as we all know the Halo 5 is going to be coming to an end here when it comes to the esports side of things but that does not mean the game is dead or anything. But guys, if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe on the channel. Let's so like guys on this channel. We have to stay up to date with anything Halo related. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out with the channel and helps more people get to see this video. So more people, could, people get to stay in the know of what's going on with Halo. And if you uh, have any thoughts about the Halo 5 competitive scene, are you going to Atlanta Dreamhack? Because I'm really thinking about going to it since this is going to be the final Halo 5 event. Uh, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. But without further ado, let's get right into the video here. Recently on Halo Waypoint, Tashi himself, the lead esports producer at Microsoft and 343, posted up on Halo Waypoint about the future of competitive Halo right now. Essentially, in the post that Tashi put up, talks about how we all grateful they are about the success of the Halo 5 uh, competitive scene for HCS. Over six million dollars rewarded to play awarded to players who uh, put out their blood, sweat, and tears into this franchise, man, trying to make it something, trying to grow back the competitive side of Halo, which is honestly my favorite esport to watch off all the majors because I love playing Halo but uh, I've always been enjoying watching competitive Halo since the Halo 3 days so there was a lot of rumors going on saying this is going to be the last Halo event is there going to be anything after this I mean when is Halo Infinite coming out oh my god what's the what's gone what's the future man we don't know that's the point of this post here was to give you a roadmap of the future and basically yeah the DreamHack event in Atlanta is going to be the final Halo 5 event for MLG Esports, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there will be other tournaments happening with the game. It's just nothing at this grand scale. So this is going to be the final finals. So this is something you're definitely going to want to watch. If not, if you have not seen any competitive Halo 5, please go to the event. Atlanta's, I went to the Halo finals in Seattle. A ton of fun. I loved it. The f you know, obviously you're sitting there watching a screen, right? You can do that at home watching on Twitch. But the thing is though, you're at the event, right? You're surrounded by people who are just as equally excited about this and being part of the experience really makes it a whole lot more fun. Plus I get a chance to meet up with some of my other people within the Halo community that I don't usually get a chance to meet up with. So it kind of gives us a nice reason to meet up together, which I'm highly thinking about going to this event. And I heard a reason why they're kind of cutting it off here is because the viewership just wasn't as high as they were hoping for. Understandable though, I mean, the like Halo 5 has been having, has had so many ups and downs when it comes to, especially the competitive side of things, and it's just a shame that it took them two years to really knock out what they really wanted to do for the competitive side of things. They really get the true good gameplay experience of Halo 5, which I think is where it's at. I think where Halo 5 is at right now for Team Arena is perfect for Halo 5. I am really enjoying the gameplay mechanics right now. Removing ground pound, removing uh, the shoulder charge, removing all the full autos on the game, and just like the proper weapon placements and power up placements. I think it's just that the game plays out super well right now. It's only a shame we only got a year to experience it, but it took us two years to get to this third year level where I think it's finally ironed out perfectly. Now, this doesn't mean that competitive Halo is on hold. It's certainly not. Uh, in the post, they mentioned about a grassroots kind of thing. I'm sure they'll probably either do like some local kind of tournaments or maybe some regional tournaments or maybe uh, just, you know, have some Microsoft Store tournaments like they have been doing for a lot of free-for-all stuff. Um, they just kind of say, it's, 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 stay tuned. We'll let you know when stuff kind of happens. Uh, but they do mention, though, the interest of Halo MCC because... Uh, as you may know that there is a 2v2 Halo 3 tournament happening at DreamHack as well alongside the Halo 5 finals. 
Now, they said that there is a lot of uh, interest in the MCC for being a competitive game, especially for Halo 3. And they're kind of judging how well the viewership is for this 2v2 tournament, whether or not they should really kind of continue with Halo 3 as bringing it back for a uh, competitive Halo. So it makes me kind of get, think about that Robin Williams meme going, what year is it again? Is it 2009 all over again? That's what it's feeling like right now, you know? Uh, but hey, if, if, it's, if it brings competitive Halo, I'm all for it, you know? Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there are players jumping off the Halo bandwagon and going over the Call of Duty, but because, you know, you're not having tournaments, you're not earning money, so these guys who are professional gamers need to make a living. They put so much time and effort into being pro gamers that they need to, you know, keep being pro gamers to keep, you know, sustain their living. And so, uh, actually, the team Splice from Halo 5 is actually jumping over and playing Black Ops 4. I've been seeing some Shotzi streams. He's been practicing a lot of uh, Black Ops 4, trying to get into the competitive side of things there. And since it is a five-man team you need for Black Ops 4, they brought in Frosty from Tox as well. So that's, for at least on the Halo side of thing, that's like a dream team of players. And I would really like to see how well these amazing Halo players handle Call of Duty. Yes, Call of Duty is super easy, as everyone likes to say, but uh, it, on the competitive side of things, it definitely has its own skill set, which is definitely something that could be uh, hindering for a Halo player, or it could be beneficial. It depends how well these guys pull it off. I definitely will be watching them when they go live when, when it comes to Call of Duty tournaments, which makes me kind of beg the question like, I know that like, yeah, maybe the viewership's a little low, maybe the production value and of how much it costs to put on an event and the viewership just isn't equating. Why not just bring down the scale of the show a little bit? Maybe just have it be like an online thing, you know, maybe a little bit more low key. I just think having no events at all, you'll be losing these great players like Shotzi, like Frosty, everyone on Splice, maybe other people jumping over the Call of Duty as well. I mean, if they do really well and they're getting more money playing Call of Duty, well, they're going to go playing in Call of Duty then. They're not going to be playing Halo. So you run that risk of losing these valuable players. Now, there's always going to be competitive Halo because it just has that grassroots. And apparently in this Waypoint post, uh, Toshi mentions how they're working hand in hand with pro players or competitive players to try to get you the proper experience that they want to have happen. Now, be warned, they said the same thing during the development of Halo 5. And when Halo 5 was released, it wasn't exactly the most competitive friendly game. It was more fair than Halo 4, but certainly not to the level it is right now for Halo 5. So that's how it all ties back in to Halo Infinite. They mention about, you know, they want, they don't have anything to reveal just yet, but there is speculation that there is, since there is an Xbox event happening with, I believe in November, kind of gives you go, hmm, maybe they might announce something with Halo Infinite. Which is Xbox event in November. It happens on November 10th. It says it's a global celebration of everything Xbox. So we'll see what happens with that. I certainly will be listening in if anything Halo related happens. I will definitely let you know because this is kind of like a one off event. It seems very out of place. And so there's definitely something that Xbox probably wants to announce or show off or do to get you know hype for the platform. And what's the flagship game for shooters when uh, for Microsoft? Well, it's obviously Halo. So we'll keep an eye on that right there. Yes, Halo Infinite is taking the feedback from professional players to uh, get you the proper experience that you know we all would expect from a Halo game. Uh, they do mention about the beta flights like they did with the MCC Insider coming for Halo Infinite. Now, they obviously, no dates mentioned at all, but they just kind of mentioned it again, saying like, hey, remember back in June when we said about that? Well, just letting you know kind of thing. So I'm expecting probably some beta flights happening sometime in 2019 which would be amazing because i i want because i Halo infinite man i want to play halo infinite so bad right now especially as a content creator that's absolutely huge to get a chance to you know talk about a new game the build up to a new game and the aftermath of a new game being released is huge so yeah that's the update on the halo competitive side it's gonna get a little dark for the next probably year maybe two whenever halo infinite decides to come out 
but it could still be kind of, you know, a light murmur of, you know, events happening uh, from the grassroots level. So local events happening, probably sponsored through Microsoft that you can probably jump in and get a chance to play. Uh, but I don't see any big like MLG productions like we have been seeing for like the Seattle finals or the previous uh uh, open tournaments that we've been seeing as well this year. So let me know in the comment section down below guys what you think about the news. Do you think it's a big mistake to not be holding off any like form of major events for Halo 5? Or do you think it's probably good to kind of let it chill, build up, let the hype build up for Infinite a little bit more, and then we can selfly kind of, you know, rebuild this uh, community? Or do you think it's a completely poor move by 343 to do this? I, I'm kind of leaning towards the bad side of things, but you know, it depends what happens moving forward. If there's some kind of tentative plan that I'm not quite ready to mention, uh, we can wait on that for that kind of final judgment. I'm not ready to make a final judgment on anything. Okay, we'll also see how this Halo 3 2v2 tournament works out as well. Maybe see some old pros come back for it. That would be kind of cool. Some throwbacks, I'm sure. And you see some fresh faces that kind of make a name for themselves in Halo 3. Hopefully coming forward in the competitive scene as well. Don't forget there are other competitive outlets as well for Halo 5. Uh, PBL, Pro Battle League, has been doing a lot of stuff with Halo 5. They usually do their stuff over on Mixer. Uh, so if you want to check out that, we'll leave a link to their mixer in the description down below. If you want to check that out, I've been trying to get in the works with them, trying to see if we can do like some com commentating or something like that. Uh, well, well, we're trying to work that out right now. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.